Are you showing recording? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm showing recording as two. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 35 of the Best Day Ever Crafting Podcast. This is a podcast about our crafting journey and shenanigans <laughs> and how crafting makes for the best day ever. My name is Arthella, also known as Eris Nitz on Instagram and Ravelry. Hello, my name is Trisha, and I'm known as Tie-Dye Diva on Instagram and Ravelry. It's yes. episode 36. Oh my gosh. Is it? <laughs> no, this is, is it? Yeah, it's 36. Isn't that, it's crazy. Time is flying by. I'm, I just went to YouTube to be sure. Are you 36? Did you put it's, up an extra one or something? No, I didn't even put up the one Zoom finally found. <laughs> right, so, because I went back and um, updated the uh, the post on Instagram because I had it as episode thirty three last oh week. Okay, <laughs> then I went back and changed it. I've updated it to thirty four. Mm -hmm. You're saying it's episode what? It's this is thirty six today. I know it's crazy. What happened? Okay, okay, thirty six. <laughs> Yeah, episode okay, 36. They got it. <laughs> so episode 36, and this is, is this still week 10? It's week, Are we yes. going we're, into, we're going, we're going into, into week 10. Of the Confidence and Hope Make Along. Yeah. Can't believe it. Can you? I can't either. I cannot either. It's been, it's been great. This was a good idea. This was a really, really good idea. It's, 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 it's helped a lot. Mm -hmm. It's helped me yeah. a lot. It does. People say um, the, the feedback has been really, really good, really, really positive. And people say how much it's, it's helped them, but it has helped me also. <laughs> Just to give me something to focus on, except the troubles and the worries and and just to hear all the, the feedback and people sharing stories and stories of hope and confidence oh how they're using their making to help them get through yes it's been good yes making making will carry you through mm -hmm. it will it's 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 the best thing ever it is it is so grateful to have it yeah so if you i'm um, here for the first time if you stumbled upon this podcast then this is a podcast about making all the things um, we love to make and we love to share what we make with each other and you so that's why that's why we are here and we have a rivalry group which is also called best day ever crafting podcast um just head over there and be inspired by all the other makers and see what they're doing um let's see what else um if you like what you see hit your subscribe button and your notification button so that when we record um, you'll know. And we've, we've been doing this every week for the past 11 weeks, past 10 weeks. Um, we used to record about every three weeks and we've been able to record consistently every week since um, we've been on lockdown, trying to instill confidence and hope. So it's been great. It's, it has. Yeah. Um, so this okay. is week 10. week 10 of the Confidence and Hope Make Alone. Yes. And you have a winner for week nine. Yes. So week nine's winner, random number generator, uh, picked number 29. And her rivalry name is M.M. Hayes. Her name is Maggie. And um, she's... She, she won the giveaway for um, week nine, which was the um, 100 Acts of Sewing dress number one pattern, along with a 100 Acts of Sewing poster. Mm -hmm. And I shared them both, showed them both last week. Um, so yeah, Maggie, um, congratulations for winning. Um, send me uh, a message on Ravelry um, with your um, shipping address, including your full name. 
And I just want to say that uh, Maggie and I share the same birthday month. And her favorite color is guess what? Green. Green. <laughs> My favorite color. So wow, we have a lot in common. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe when I saw her favorite uh, color was green. Awesome. I love green. So yeah. <laughs> so congratulations for winning the giveaway. And she said in her comment that um, she's wanted to sew for a while. And uh, I think there's a local sewing shop where she lives. Mm -hmm. um, had some uh, small sewing classes going on before, you know, COVID-19, the pandemic, that she was considering participating in. And one of the class offerings was uh, making the dress number one. Oh, nice. So she said she would like to be able to say that she's a sewer just like Arthella says, you know I'm a crocheter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that awesome. was fun. Yeah. Cool, cool. Well, congratulations, Maggie. Awesome. That's a wonderful prize. You're gonna have a lot of fun with that. That dress number one, yes. Yeah. Can't yep. wait so, for you to make it. That's right. And post lots of pictures in the rivalry group so we can see what you're making. Yep. Awesome. So um, prize for week week 10 um, I have a prize and I chose something from my stash um, that I purchased a while back and I just haven't used it so I'm going to share it with you all it's a um, kit for making this beautiful hat here oh wow and the hat is called it is called ho type <laughs> I thought it was so pretty when I saw it. I got it from Yarn Matters Yarn Store in Richmond and uh, Williamsburg, Virginia. Oh, yeah. It's called the Birch Hat. So the pattern is in here. I think I remember and, seeing that. Yeah, I love that, that woven print there. And it's also going to include this skein of yarn here from Yarn Matters. I believe this is their, um, their indie dyed base. Yeah, the it's owner, she nice. dyes. It's super squishy and soft. This is um, a light rusted to DK. It's 100% superwash merino. And um, the color is seaweed brain. That's pretty. Isn't it pretty? It's going to be really, brains. really pretty with this pattern. here. And the pattern, it looks textured. What, what's it the is? stitch? Um, let me see. Does the pattern say what the stitch is? It almost looks like a herringbone stitch. It does. Yep, it's a herringbone stitch. Oh, wow. That's going to mm -hmm. be gorgeous. Yes. So, yeah, this is, this is beautiful. So I know we're not in hat season right now, but we will be soon enough. Although every, Axothella, every season is hat season. <laughs> every, yes. So the question prompt for this prize is, are you a seasonal maker or not. So in other words, do you like to knit for the summer in the winter so that when spring and summer comes, you have all your summer sweaters or your summer dresses and things you've already sewn in the winter months? Or do you just make whatever you want to make, whatever season it is? <laughs> That's a good one. I wish I could be that, that organized, but I'm not. With what? With, because I always say, so like now I really wish I had worked on a summer sweater in the winter. Right. And if I cast on one now, it's not going to be ready until the winter, probably. Unless That's I really true. buckle down Unless and you focus. Knit really fast. Yeah. 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 We need to uh, become more in line with fashion industry. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're, they're showing their winter collections now so we right. will be knitting for winter now right and then the same for winter they're showing mm -hmm. their spring and summer so we need to maybe become a little more fashion forward in I'm our that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome <laughs> so anyway just make sure you leave your um your answer to that question in the rivalry group um, a lot, lot of people have posted responses in the, on the YouTube channel, and that's fine, too. But we're only picking prizes from the rivalry group. 
for the sake of simplicity, just makes it a lot easier. So yeah, it um, makes it easier. Yeah. So I'm definitely looking forward to um, your responses and um, gifting that prize. So before we get into the making, we should talk about what we're wearing. Yeah, let's talk about what we're wearing. What are you wearing? What am I wearing? Well, today is 100 acts of sewing day for me because I'm wearing a tunic number one and I'm also wearing pants number one. Okay. So my tunic is a navy blue eyelet. Okay. Um, that I got from Joann's. I wish I had more. Mm -hmm. And I went online this week and it's like, oh, zero, not available. <laughs> But it's available in some other colors. But mm -hmm. I really like the navy. I would it's have so liked pretty. the dress. But the, the tunic number one. And then I'm wearing them. You really can't see. But um, an Ankara uh, African uh, print pants that yeah. match. That so. is so cute. Yes, it's really cute. And you know these pants, they're, um, they're short-waisted. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to make another pair uh -huh. and bring it, I think I need to bring it up in the back because they're lower in the back than the front. Okay. They're really comfortable. They are. Yeah. And, and so that's the, the pants number one from the 100 axis sewing. Yes. The pants number one. Because I think she has two, two different styles of pants, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. One's more like a slimmer. Mm hmm I wish you could see maybe I will take a picture and post it because these are like they're kind of wide at the bottom yeah that, that and they're that above perfect. my they're they're above so it's kind of like a short little cropped right you're really I'm telling you I want some more of these yeah they're awesome that fabric is so pretty yeah this fabric you know the piece was um Dominique gave me her leftovers Okay, okay. She made, she made, she had made herself a pair of shorts and she made Jason a dashiki. Okay. And then she still had leftovers. So I was like, can I have that? <laughs> and this was the part that had the label. We didn't know how to deal mm -hmm. with that label. So mm -hmm. it was still like sticky. So I was like, oh, you're not going to use that. Let me just have it. So I was able to get the label off. Yeah. Off yeah, of there are a lot of um, suggestions on how to get it off. Steam will get it off. I usually, when I wash it, I just throw it in the washing machine and a dryer, and it just it just peels right off. Well, th that's what we did that time, and it didn't work. It didn't work. Wow. It didn't work. So I have I have the same print in, and we saw this 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 colorway uh, or the color print at. Um, frock tails. Do you remember this print and a girl had it on? I could probably find her on Instagram. There was so much it was like, night. <laughs> there was a lot, but it was like, a, I'll show you. I'll show it. I'll show okay. it. Um, but yeah, so I'll make another pair cool. um, of cool. the pants. They're really, they're really, really comfortable. And you know, I really need bottoms. Me I too. I have them on the top. You know, we'll crank out yes. the top, but it's like, right. Okay, what bottom do I have yeah, to go with? Yeah. You know, so I'm gonna uh focus a little more on um making some bottoms. Likewise. Like yeah. Cool. So what are you wearing? I'm wearing another shirt number one, another one hundred axis sewing shirt number one. Um the modifications was I'm lengthening out the sleeves a little bit, um, maybe about three inches. Whoa. Yep. Um, Did you do some here. seaming on? Oh no, that's that's part of the pattern. This yeah. So that this is two, so... isn't that pretty? I'm trying oh to God. figure out. I guess these are leaves. Yes. They don't look like marijuana leaves, do they? No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what it looks like. No. Yes, I do. Well, you know, why do you think they look like that? I don't know. <laughs> but it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Um, oh I'm trying to so you, you said you lengthen the sleeve? I lengthen the sleeve. Um, you all, you, I'm going to grab the pattern piece. Okay. 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 
Um, so here's the pattern piece. It's the same piece for the front and the back. Okay. And this is the sleeve. And so when I cut it out, I just extend it out for however long I want. And in this case, it was about about, about four inches. That's that, it. Okay, so you added four inches onto it? Uh-huh, yep. That is lovely. You know, I ordered the shirt number one, but I haven't gotten it yet. So okay. I'm really looking forward to it because this is the tunic. And honestly, I think the, the neck is too wide. Um, you know, I almost forgot about the tunic number one. I'm just not the tunic. I mean, it's nice, you know, for, but I mean, just wearing, I guess it's, it's more dressy or something. It seems gotcha. like, I don't know. It's, it looks I would, great. I would want more here. So I'm really looking forward to that shirt number one. Yeah. And Hopefully I did get um, follow your suggestion from last week for your dress. I didn't make the, um, the neckline lower. That's what I was going to ask. Did, did yeah. that neck? I didn't make the neckline lower. Don't you love it? So I do, I do like it a lot. Um, it is still a little large, so I may take um, Lou's suggestion and just do a little pleat right here. That would be cute. But it does fit a lot better than than putting the um, than making a scoop neck. So this these patterns are so versatile. You can do so many things with them. I mean, I could put lace on the end of these sleeves. I could do like a um, cut out a ruffle out of the same fabric and put it on the sleeve and on the bottom. Um, you could put lace around the. It's just the possibilities are endless. It's just it's a blank canvas, and you can it do is. so much. So we're wearing Ankara African print today because this week is make sure I get it right Ankara Appreciation Week. So if you don't know what Ankara fabric is, um, I'm sure you've seen it before. It's these um, these vibrant prints, and I'm just going to read to you the description from All Things Ankara. Um, what is Ankara fabric? Ankara, commonly known as Ankara prints, or African prints, or African wax prints, sometimes Holland wax and Dutch wax. It's 100% yep. cotton fabric with vibrant patterns. It is usually a colorful cloth and is primarily associated with Africa because of its tribal-like patterns and motifs. So if you love color and you love really bold prints, then definitely look into some Ankara fabric. I have a lot of it and I need to start sewing it up. It's so, it's so easy to work with too. Um, it's crisp. It, it's really be great for quilting, um, tote bags, clothing. It's just so versatile and I love it. I do too. I really love it a lot. And usually it comes in like um, six yards. Um, you can also get it by the yard, depending on where you get it from, but more, most likely you're going to get it in six yards. Um, this is what I had left over from my um, shirt that I made. So I still have quite a bit left. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make some pants to go with this. You're going to make a pair of I'm pants? I'm going to make pants the exact same. Cool, color. that'll be so... And then I'm going to make Ray a shirt with the rest. So it's a, this fabric goes a long way. And this is that, that pesky piece of a <laughs> label that's usually on it. But this one peeled off pretty easily. That one peeled off well. Yeah, this one, this one peeled off really good. But it's just, this, this fabric is just, it's so beautiful. Can do so many things with it. So yeah, I'm gonna. Um, when I do the show notes, I'll link to a couple of my favorite places to get Ankara prints from. Yeah, that'll be a good idea. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So finished objects. Finished objects. Zero. For me. I have I have one. I finished um, the Maggie's beret for my friend. Oh, I didn't even cut off the strings. <laughs> so there's That's her. So pretty, beret. isn't it pretty? So this was knit in uh, Madeline Taj, um chunky, and tart is the color. And a viewer um, kindly told me that um, Jimmy Beans has because you know Jimmy Beans took over Madeline Taj. Right. 
um, they have a site full of tarp on all the bases. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Why did she tell us that? Why did she tell us that? I don't know. Every okay. single, and when I say every single base, from the silk mohair to the home, and what's that new base you really like? Um, you remember the one I knit the hat out of? The twist, farmer's that twist. twist. That farm twist. They even have it on farm twist. Just saying. So you, I don't even need to talk about the Maggie's Beret. You guys know how much we love it. It's just We absolute. love the Maggie's Beret. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful hat pattern. Um, I will link to it again. Um, but if you haven't already made yours, then definitely make it. It's quick, it's easy, and it's super cute. I will try this one on, but it's going to be a gift, so I won't try it on. So that's all I finished this week. Okay, and I finished. In, in knitting and crochet. Yeah, not of this week. So let's just move on. Move on then to what? So what you've been working on? What have I been working on? So I'm still working on my Eshton, mm. S John or Eshton. So here she is, still working away. I have one more section to do. Okay, it's so pretty. On that, that's crochet. I mean knitting, and then for mm -hmm. my crochet, I'm still working. I decided to lengthen my um oh my goodness my okay. crop. Yeah. yeah so I'm still I I'm I'm gonna divide for the sleeves this this week this weekend okay I just wanted to make sure I had enough you know I just wanted to have I just wanted to fit I'm just so yes. afraid it's not gonna fit I think it will it looks that's a big difference from the first one you made. It is, but see right here is still, it just doesn't seem like it's enough for the sleeve. Hmm. I just don't know. And then for my body, I'm trying to get, I think, I think I'm going to just go for it. Because the sleeves are, it's not a, you know, it's kind of like a, you know how the Millie is? Dome, like, dome and sleeve almost? Kind of. You know how the Millie just, mm -hmm. you just, just drops. It. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a, almost like a poncho. You know what I mean? Right. Let me find a picture. And with with, this, with the see. opening to me. So. And that's called, what is it called again? Sedona crochet top. Sedona. Sedona crochet top. For a chance, speech to text actually worked. I'm looking at the, it even looks like the sleeve doesn't look very wide. It's not defined. Right? It's not yeah. defined. Yeah, and it's also not very wide. So I think that'd be okay. I don't know. Well, my arms are big, mm. which I have. I embraced my arms this week. Good. And how how did you? Should we talk about that towards the end, or we can t we can bring it back up? Okay. Cool. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> interested to see how you did that, so I can <laughs> embrace my parts that I'm always complaining about. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, cool. So All right that's, then. Yeah, what I'm working on, okay. knitting crochet wise. Okay, I um I finished the um the color work on my um Ariella sweater. You finished it. I did. I'm just gonna show it real quick um, cause you still can't see the 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 motif that great cause I didn't separate for the sleeves yet. Right. Um. But it's, I just finished it. Just finished all the color work. Wow. So it's like this knit, 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 knit. So how much, how much longer do you knit before dividing for your sleeves? I don't know. I haven't even read the pad. I just wanted to get through those, get through those color wanted to get the, yes. Yeah. I would, I, pro, I, I, I would imagine I'd probably knit for at least another inch. But we'll see. 
And I was worried I was going to run out of um, this color. Oh, were you? I, I had plenty. I had. So I'm thinking about finishing off just the last row of the bottom and the bottom of the sleeves with this. Because oh, I want to use every single bit. Or do the bind, you would bind off with that color? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, this is fun. This is a lot of fun. It's going to really be fun because now I can just knit around and around and around. And I'm looking forward to that. Um, I, I cast on a new project. I've been wanting to knit this for the longest. It's called the Jessica Jones Cow. Jessica Have you ever heard of that? No, I don't think so. Let me show it to you. Jessica Jones. I heard about this by listening to the Yarniacs podcast. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's Charlene who's knit this at least three times. Oh, wow. And she talks about how much she On loves babes, huh? this pattern. The Jessica Jones. Speech to Text is cooperating with me today. So it's and basically just it, a Ravelry. Uh-huh. That's your um yeah, so it's basically just a linen stitch cow. A linen stitch. You know, I don't, yep. I don't believe I've ever looks, worked the linen stitch. It almost looks like um like it was put on, on a like, on a weaving loom. It's just okay. really tight. Um let's see here. And let me tell you what the um inspiration behind this was. She says, on the Marvel TV series, the character Jessica Jones wears a classic, long, woven-looking gray wrap scarf that has seen better days. The basic linen stitch cow was inspired by her scarf. Uh, make this in a flattery neutral, and it will become a wardrobe staple, or use your favorite bright color um, and make it a real statement piece. So yeah, it's just a basic, just a really simple, this, that's a good picture there. And fingering weight on a size nine? I said, is that a typo? Is that? <laughs> but um, so I started it and it's, it, um, I think this is my first time doing linen stitch too. And what is the linen stitch? It is knit one, slip one. What? That's it. Knit one, slip one. And then you, you alternate that? And then you alternate that. Mm -hmm. So the next row, you knit your slips and slip right. your knit. Yep. Is that all? That's it. So it's very meditative. It's really, you know, I'm enjoying it. I just started last night. Okay, I just saved that. Yep, just the Jessica Jones cow. Um, it's been around for quite some time. I have to ask Tamara, does she know who Jessica Jones is? Because she's into all of the Marvel, what do you call that? Um, I'm not yeah. sure about that whole. Yeah, she's but, a. What do they call? They call it something. They call it something. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know. Um, but it, if she hasn't seen this, I know she's gonna want to make it. She's gonna be like, "What?" <laughs> Before. I so, to um, what yarn are you using? I'm using Asylum Fibers. Their fingering weight. Uh, what does she call this base? This base is called a Madhouse base uh -huh. by Salem Fibers, and the color is Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing? Swamp Thing. It's green. It's green and brown. Ooh, that's it's so pink. pretty. It's really pretty. Really, really, really pretty. It's and that it almost feels like a light fingering, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this will bloom when I wash it, when I soak it, when it's done. So are you doing the single wrap or the double? Single. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing the single. So one skein of yarn will do it. One skein of yarn will do. I'm just going to knit it till it runs out. And you're on the 24 inch? Uh, yep. Who are you going to make yep. me cast on? I know. It's, but this is like the perfect, you know, take to the park or ride in the car or just sitting on the patio with a glass of wine. I think it's, I'm going to do it with um, a skein of my wool mice. You that's know, what yes. I was thinking today, this would be perfect for a variegated skein. Yes. Yes. You know which one? I don't. 
I put, I put, I stored them away. Where did I put them? My wool mites. Those I was like, were the I days. I wasn't we used to be. Kid. Oh my gosh. We used to be hard on wool mites. Oh my goodness. It was. <laughs> wool mites was the end all and the be all. It was. <laughs> it still, still is. It's still, it's still, it's still but yeah. you know, mm -hmm. that, um, getting it and. Ugh. Right. <laughs> the updates. <laughs> yeah. Catching the updates. Exactly. We love every bit of it too. Yeah. Waking up remember at that, 2 a.m. Waking up that, at 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> remember the colorway um Zinzi? Do you remember that colorway? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that would be beautiful in this. Those browns and browns and beiges. Yeah, so that's um those are my my current whips. At least what I've been working on this week. I really want to get my other sleeve done on my way to change so I can have that off the needles and all ready to go for next winter. And I just threw my cow in my French supply um, fill bag. I think this is the toffee color. Yes. Yeah. Did yeah. you get you an orange one this week? Um, I already had an orange one. Oh, you already have an orange. I have an orange one. Mm -hmm. I thought about you, and I was like, no, I'm not going <laughs> to. But you already have one. You know, French uh, has a big, uh, big sale. I didn't know that. I wonder Is if it's this... still going on. Lord. Yes. You know I'll be there in a minute. French supply. A very good sale. Really? Yes, almost got an orange one, but it's like, eh. wow. Back oh, it up, back it up. Hey. You see it? I do see it. What? Is the orange one still there? Um, it is. Oh, no, not for this price. Oh, no, I, I was about to say, Whew. huh? Let's see here. Wow, that is a good price. Isn't that a good price? So normally sixty five and it's forty eight ninety eight. I know. We have completely jumped over into um, shopping and acquisition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't help it. Oh my goodness! Thanks for letting me know this because I would like a porter bin. A port? Oh, just that bin? Yeah, I think that'd be nice just to sit in the living room. They have that too. Yeah. Um, let's see. Looks like most of them has sold out though. Oh my gosh. The orange one is wow. still there? It's still there. How what in the it? world? How is this even possible? Wow. Well, okay. the orange one is still showing. You still have to go to it. The cocoa is there. So I've always wanted the cocoa. I think the cocoa was really pretty. What's a cocoa? It's like a grayish brown. Oh, in the field? The which field which bag? bag? The field bag? No, not the field bag. What's the the, the um the town bag? Okay, you yeah. Maybe I'm confused again. In the anywho, yeah. Okay, yeah. so we oh, are having a good sale. Check it out, right? Yeah. <laughs> Check okay. it out. Green supply so check it out if mm -hmm. you um would like would like a French supply bag or some of the other accoutrements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have quite now a few. It's a here. really nice sale going on. Yes, it's it is. A warehouse sale. So, oh yeah. man, even the Jen Hewitt. I've always wanted. I know. I was in. Oh, okay. Back okay. to podcasting. <laughs> yes. Okay. So next up is sewing and quilting. Sewing and quilting. Mm -hmm. So we talked about a little sewing. This is my garment um, finished object for the week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is so cozy too. It's comfy. Okay. So mm -hmm. I, st I started a, um, it's called the Lati. Have you ever have you ever made this? No. Let me see. 
No, but that sure is cute. Isn't that cute? Mm-hmm. So I'm making the middle one A, but in the dress length. Gotcha. Okay. Because you see B, it has like another section on the sleeve. Yes. And I think that would be too restricting for me. Okay. So, and I'm using an Ankara print. And I pretty much... Mm. The print. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. And I, I did my, I finished all my scenes. I did French scenes. Wonderful. Happy okay. about that. Um, and I inserted the, 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 the she calls it an interfacing, but it's just a okay. little, and somehow it just didn't. So I'm taking all this out. Oh, taking this out and go. But the sleeves is like a drop sleeve. It comes yeah. like it's a really nice sleeve. Wow, it's it almost reminds me of this sleeve. Yes. Yeah. That so fabric fun. is absolutely gorgeous. And what I did was this time I was like, I'm not doing any darts because it has darts uh -huh. in the front. But I want it just to be just totally relaxed. So I omitted the darts. And I tried awesome. to work. It works really well. I was like, it's kind of like a ship or a house dress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So um, so pretty. I'll finish that up this weekend. OK. Yeah, awesome. Where'd you That's get that fabric from? Um, I ordered it, I think, on Etsy, one of the little okay. The, on Kara shops on Etsy. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you. Love it. I'm gonna find it for you now. Okay. Well, I will share with you. You already seen this on Instagram. My quilt. I finished. I finished it this week. I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. You can't. <laughs> I said, you know what? If I don't finish it, I'm not going to finish it. So I just need to really focus. So literally, was this Thursday? Yep. No, Wednesday after work, because I work here in my sewing room. And so my computer is like right here in front of me where it is now, my sewing machine. 3.30, I promptly just turn around. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed the quilt and I didn't move until I had the actual quilting done. And the quilting is just a straight line. And I'm using straight very loosely, <laughs> but it's just some straight line quilting that follows. Um, it's just stitching a ditch. Oh, so you stitched? Oh, you stitched in the ditch of all those blocks? Mm hmm. Pretty much. So, so some of them are stitching a ditch. Yes, it's all stitching a ditch. Yep. Wow. And I did it on a diagonal, and that's how I ended up with like the X in each block, which worked out really, really well. Wow. Yep. So I, I started like right here at a, at a point and just uh -huh. went down. Then just kept going down, down, down. And I started in the middle because I knew the, that would be the longest lines and it would, you know, take me long. So I wanted to get the middle parts done first. Then I just went over, over, over until I had them all done. I didn't stop. I just kept going, going, going. And um, then the next day I squared it up. And then the next day, I must have squared it up and did the binding at the same on the same day. Yep, and it's done. I didn't do any quilting on the border because I knew I would have to use the white thread, and I'm not that confident with my um, free motion quilting skills. Um, but I think it looks okay. Yeah, and let me just it is it really pretty. Wow. Yeah, and it's good size. It's about it's a throw size. Nice throw. It's big enough to fit almost over my whole body. Yeah, Let's see your backing. All the way down to my legs. Um, and the backing is this cotton here. Wow. Yep. And I, 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 um, I don't know what took me so long to do this. I think I was just dreading 
I was just dreading all the, the other parts. And I enjoyed the piecing. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I got to put the binding on. I got to quilt it. I mean, I know I could have sent it off to be quilted. But really, you know, watching Roz and just how she just systematically finished hers, that was just so inspiring. And I said, you know what, Trisha, just do it. I know. I keep going back and forth, back and forth. Because after, you know, like you, when I saw Roz, I was like, oh, I can do this. Or even after I finished the top, I was like, I can do this. And then I saw yours this week. And I was like, I, I, I'm, I haven't sent it off yet. But, ooh, I don't know. Okay, so I got that fabric from okay. Shop, and I'm sure you know of House of Mommy Wata. No, that's a new one to me. Yeah, House of M A M I W A T A. M A M I W A T A. Mm -hmm. House wow. of Mommy Wata. All one word. And you mm -hmm. know you have to be specific in yes. <laughs> Etsy. So you can list that one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, here's the I fabric, the other fabric that I was trying to tell you that I had. Let me write this down. House. Oh, my pen is drying up. Yeah, because I got these two together. So this one, this is the colorway of the, of the, the one I'm wearing, but this oh, is a different colorway. Yes. Isn't that pretty? That's really pretty. Really pretty. They're in Atlanta, Georgia, and they ship really fast. I didn't need to know that. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at this. Wow. Sorry. What I love about this is that she, she will sell by the yard, so you don't have to buy all six yards. Right. Oh my goodness, guys. The, these prints are amazing. <laughs> she has a jelly roll. She has the charm packs, too. And layer cakes. Yes. Wow. So all the things. All the things. Okay, I will definitely link to this. This is Mommy Wati. I wonder yes. where she's from. Oh my goodness. Awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll make sure I put a link in the show notes and I definitely saved it to my favorites. Why did I even go on here? Because look at this. Ooh. And I will also link to a couple of Instagram makers who are really, um, who heavily use Ankara prints. Um, one in particular I discovered this week. Um, I think you're going to really love Juliet Uzor. And I believe she's from the UK. Um, some beautiful work. Oh, I see polka dots. <laughs> okay, focused. <laughs> okay, so um, that, that's all I have for sewing and quilting. Okay, and I did want to say also about the quilt because I couldn't think of the name of the pattern. It's called the Quarter Stripes Quilt. Quarter Stripes. Quarter Stripes Quilt. And that's and a, whose pattern is that? It's um, Missouri Star Quilt Company. Quarter Stripes Quilt. Uh-huh. And there's a tutorial um, on YouTube. She walks you through all the steps. And the first, the first um, step is getting a stripe fabric. It can be any thin stripes, thick stripes. And it's all in the way you fold the fabric and then you, the way you cut it while it's folded. It's, what? it's pretty amazing, yeah. So it can be thin or thick stripes. It can be thin or thick stripes. It has to be stripes. But it has to be stripes. I'm going to look that up. That is really, your, your quilt is gorgeous. When you see her do it, it, that's how I felt when I saw her do it. I was like, I have got to make this. Because it's not a lot of work for a really big impact. So check it out. Yeah, I, I may do another one. But I need to find some more striped fabric. I was actually looking for an African print that was striped. Because that would be amazing. Yes. So, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so that brings us into stashquisitions. Oh, gee. 
<laughs> you have anything? I got a couple of things. You want me to go first? Yeah, you go first. I'll finish my grapefruit. Okay. So I, one of our local yarn shops, and I say local because it's with, it's within just a little over an hour drive. Finch. Ah, yes. Finch is in, what, what city is it? Leesburg? Leesburg, Virginia. Leesburg, Virginia. Mm -hmm. She had a really, they had a really nice sale. They did. And um, I picked up a few things. So the first thing I got was some 29 bridges. Did you get any 20? I didn't get any 29 bridges. You didn't? I did. I, I, I did. This is the chunky single in the mm -hmm. rose gold colorway. Oh, look at that. That rose gold is so awesome. It's gorgeous. So, of course, this will become a what? Maggie's, Maggie's Gray. <laughs> yes. So, I got that. And then I got this quilt pattern. The, Ooh, I've always, I, I really like this. The um, Ohio Supernova. The star. Mm, okay. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. I got that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got this. Ooh, um, this is, this is um, Rifle Paper Company, the oh. Primavera collection, and oh. this is the canvas. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm always wondering pretty. what that looked like in person. It's really nice. What are you going to do with it? Um, I guess I'm going to make a tote bag, I believe. Cool. Because I, I got this, this cabana. Um, stripe for the uh, oh, the inside. Oh, that's gorgeous! That's going to be perfect. Isn't it pretty? Mm hmm. So I got that, and then I also got a pattern from them. Oh, uh, I thought this was really cute, and it seems easy. It's called the box pleat dress, mm. and it's by. Um, the assembly line and this is what it looks that's the schematic oh, that's it's got a pleat in the back i love that's how it looks on the front oh that's cute isn't that cute really cute that can be dressed up or down dress up or down mm -hmm. and it, it says it's very easy and it uses a mid-weight fabrics such as denim, cotton, twill, or lightweight canvas, mm. which, yeah. Can you imagine that in the beautiful African print? Oh my gosh. Yeah. That would be out of this world. Yes. And then I think, um, I don't believe, I think you pull it over your head. Okay. I don't see a zipper or anything. Awesome. Yeah, no zipper or anything. Okay. This one's really cute. I could, this could be a tunic too. It could be. The, so it's called the box pleat dress. Box pleat dress. By the assembly line. Okay. Yeah. So awesome. that's a little stash a little position. Something, something. A little something, something. So I was, um, you know, Instagram is a dangerous thing because everybody's been talking about the Hugshot cow, the Cas Casapinka. Right. I mean, um, shawl. Right. And I think she's doing a promotion um, with certain indie dyers. If you purchase two skeins of their fingering, she's gifting you the pattern. Right. So it's an effort to help um, indie dyers who've been impacted by the by COVID nineteen not being able to um, have income come in. And she she also did something for the local yarn shops in which she raised a lot of money. So um, kudos to Casapinka. Anyway, I was I almost hit this, the buy button so many times, but in the end, these are the two I ended up with. Whose yarn is that? 
Hold on. At Haynes House. Yes. <laughs> when I saw these two, I was like, man, and they look exactly how they look online too. Look at this. Oh spot. wow. That's really pretty. This is the name of those. So um this one is called Monster Cuddle. <laughs> and this one is called Cuddle Monster. <laughs> She has the best names for her yarn. She does. And they're just, they're a hoot. She and her, she and her husband are running a business together. They both knit. Um, he sews, so he also makes handbags. I don't think I saw any handbags in the shop. Uh -huh. But you can check. I'll definitely link, link to their shop. So I don't know if I'm going to do the hug shop with this or something else. But I did get my pattern. But it's so pretty. So pretty. That is pretty. Well, thank you. Terry and Brian. Yeah. Um, let's see. Do you have anything else? Any other acquisitions? Um, uh, a couple, of, couple more things. Um, this do? came in. I'll show this to you. This did, this seam roller came in. I need one of those. Yeah. Where'd you get yours? Amazon. Oh, is it a singer? Yeah, it's a singer. I don't know why I thought it was a, um, what's the other name of the makers of uh, sewing accessories? Dritz. That's, I thought it was Dritz, but it's a singer. Yep, so. So tell me, what does it say? What's the description for it? Um, it said large roller press, presses, seams, and folds. Um, large comfortable grip, ideal for paper piecing and glued seams on leather and felt. Perfect for quick press seams at sewing machine. So I'm, I don't know, I'm, I've never used one. I mean, I saw Roz use hers and the way it just opened up that, that quarter inch seam, I was impressed. You need you know, it. You I need sometimes it. Sometimes when you're, um, even when making just these tops, I don't always want to get up and go to iron the ironing board. I, you know, I, I have a little, um, a little stool right here beside my sewing table, and I've kind of like made myself a little mock ironing station. I've got a, a cutting board on top of the stool and a towel on top of the cutting board. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like this little itty bitty. <laughs> sewing station and i have my little tiny miniature right voice. i love that one i use that <laughs> i use the smaller one the that one more than i use my yeah. big one this thing gets hot let me tell you it does get hot but mine doesn't steam anymore well the thing is mine steams if you leave it so i cut mine on and off mm -hmm. um you know, in between, you know, seaming. Mm -hmm. Because I find that when it's not fully heated is when it steams best. So if mm -hmm. I want, you can't just leave it running, running, and it'll steam. It just right. doesn't. I don't even know mm. why that is. But if I, if I cut it off and then, you know, cut it cut it on when I'm ready to use the steam. Mm -hmm. It steams right away. I don't really? know what that's all about, but anyway. Okay. I'll try that. Well, at this point, all the water has, has um, dumped out. But yeah, this is a nice little handy. It's a power horse. This little it is. Something. And it's just, it's so cute. And do you have the, um, the wool ironing mat? I don't. Do you have mine? You have got to get mine. Really? I was wondering. OMG. If was, okay. That's a game changer. So then I, I won't be able to, can I still use my, um, I guess I can still use my cutting board and towel. <laughs> I'll just put but the, I'm telling you, it opens, it irons those, it presses those seams. Really? It's, yeah. Okay. I, I would definitely, one. I would Here's definitely. One, Madam So, Madam So, do you get her, her emails? No. She's the one who sells the um the felted ironing. Yes. Okay. I mean, there are many of them, but I'm seeing hers now on on um, Amazon. 
I didn't, I, my first time seeing it was maybe about a month ago. You know how you get the, um, the pop-up ads on Instagram? Except that's what it kept coming up. It wasn't mm -hmm. the Madam So, but yeah, one kept coming up and I was like, eh, if it's coming from China, I don't, you know, right. Really? Mm -hmm. I just, I have a little pair of shoes down here. I know I ordered before the pandemic and they just came today. Wow. And I'm like, <laughs> did you I'll order, what, what site did you order them off of? What, the shoes or the mm -hmm. mat? <laughs> I can't, I, something that popped up, of course, on Instagram. Yeah. And see, you can't, you can't get to the, you know, full site when you order, you know, because. Right. Just like the, when we order the frames, mm -hmm. I had gotten to the point, I was asking them, is it coming from China? Because. Right. I, I. We, you know, we yeah. weren't getting anything from them, you know, overseas for a long time. So I guess now they're starting to open that back up. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. yeah, so the Madam So, they're, they're local. In Prime, you could get, you can, you know, Amazon, you can have it by Sunday. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to look that up. That will always yeah, look for easy. That together, when you use your little Oslo. Mm -hmm. Os Os Leo, Os how do you pronounce it? Oslo. Olisa. Olisa. Is it Olisa? O-L-I-S-O. -O. Okay. Olisa. I've, I've heard of it. Olisa. Yeah, but that's with it. That what wool, you with yep. that wool and that. <sighs> really? Okay. I'm going mean, to order one. I went over because this. um. The Ankara, you know, it has mm -hmm. some deep creases in it. And I just went over that thing one time and it, wow, those creases just awesome. iron completely out okay. versus, you know, just a regular, because I have mm -hmm. another little mat that's ironing and then on the other side, you can, you can cut on it. Mm -hmm. That just what, that just what? didn't, okay. <laughs> and I was just, you know, just doing too much work. Yeah. So that wool mat is a lifesaver. Okay. I'll check it out. I would check it out. And we're doing all this talking back and forth about it. I guess we can pop it into the show notes, what we're talking about, a wool mm -hmm. mat. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yes. Yeah, I'll link to the iron and the wool mat. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the little roller for your seams. Yes. For all I'll you knew that last week. You did. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I'll do it again this week. <laughs> Anything else come in for you this week? Any other? Oh, goodies? no. I don't have no more fibery goodies, but I did get some. I got a candle I want to share. So remember when you told me, you, I sent you a link to a candle maker and then you sent me a link to the candle. What company was that? DW Home. DW Home Candles. You know, I, I just opened that box yesterday. <laughs> just opened the box yesterday and I love everything. Unfortunately, one of my candles were broke. Oh, bummer. One of my favorites. So I need to contact them to have them um, send me another one. But um, everything else is just delightful. So this is this is the candle that I purchased before you told me about um, the other ones. This okay. is from here. Sweater. Scent Fire. So I, of course, I had to get Cashmere Sweater. And she was doing a collection of candle scents um, based on the, the um, COVID-19 and just being shut in. Huh. So this was this is one of one of those scents. It is amazing. I really wish you could smell this. What's um, the it, base of it? It's soy, um, cranberry, vanilla, and pine. Oh wow! Can't imagine that. Cranberry, vanilla, and pine. So it's, what's it's, the name of that company? This is Scent Fire. Scent Fire. Scent Fire Candle Company. And I found out about them watching um, 
the morning show, the news for what I always forget the name. I watch it every morning. You think I could remember the name? Um, whatever the morning show is on channel four. On channel um, four. Yeah, it's the one with um Hoda and Savannah Guthrie and Craig, I forget his name. I just I really enjoy their presentation. Um and so every once in a while they will feature um, makers, like independent makers, and they just happen to feature her um her candles one morning and you know, just talked about how she works out of her home and everything she does out of her home. And um, I could not even get on the site that day. It took me, it took me a good 40 minutes just to order one candle. Wow. And it just came in last week. So she sent me an email apologizing, but she just got slammed with orders. Oh, after she, she was featured. Um, but yeah, hopefully by now, you know, her things are more accessible, but this, this is awesome. Cashmere I'm going to try it. Absolutely love it. You, man, I wish you could smell this. So she has, like you said, her signature scents right now are mm -hmm. pandemic. So she has one called socially distant. Mm -hmm. I think that one was chill. sold out. <laughs> Living room flex, therapy in place, mm -hmm. and cashmere run a lap. I'm gonna have dapper gentlemen. Ooh. I'm gonna have to try. I'm gonna try it. Black yeah. unicorn. I wonder what that is. So you said the um, who that cranberry vanilla and pine? It smells like you're in the woods. Just just imagine being in the woods on a fall day. And the air is crisp and clean. But just so you're smelling the pine from the trees, but you're also sniffing flowers. It's out of stock. Ah. She'll have it again. Yeah, she'll have it again. But yeah, I can't wait to burn this tonight while I cuddled up with my Jessica Jones cow. <laughs> and then I have one other fun acquisition. Um, so Terry and Brian's daughter, Terry Haynes from At Haynes House, she makes her own shea butters. Huh. So Terry just, you know, talked about her daughter on one of her Instagram posts. You know, oh, anybody looking for, you know, body products, check out my daughter. Her name, the name of her shop is Queen Sheba Beauty. And um, I picked this up from her Etsy shop. Peppermint and lemon wow peppermint and lemon mint um whipped body butter it smells so good it's really heavier on the peppermint than the, than the lemon but you definitely get you definitely get the lemon on the back end and it's whipped so it's re it's really it's hard but once you put your hand in it just softens right up oh softens right up and then when you put it on look how it just melts right in. And so it smells good. Smells Queen good. Sheba. Queen Sheba Beauty. And she's on Etsy. Okay. Had to see what other scents she has. So I put this on this morning after my shower. Peppermint is so awesome. It just wakes you up. It just opens up the pores and everything just feels tingly. Yes. And, and alive. Yeah, I even put some on my face. I don't normally put oils on my face, but sometimes I will put shea butter on because it soaks in so nicely. So, yep. This is yummy. <laughs> you know, I'm on board with the peppermint. I'm going to have to check I know. That. Yeah. Yep, so check her out. And it was her prices were very reasonable and she shipped really quickly. I mean, she's oh, right wow. down the street, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep, she's Maryland. She's local. Local to our area so um yeah definitely check her out and um i'm excited i'm always happy to support um young makers especially local makers it's exciting yep okay all righty so um any dream making dream making any patterns on your heavy on your list um, 
I'm making, I'm going to make a fanny pack. You said that. that was, did you find a pattern yet? Um, yeah, I found a little free pattern and I had to order the like little, the little clip thing, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. clip. so I think that's downstairs that came today. Cool. And I'm going to do, let's see, I, I think I, I bookmarked the one I want to do. Yeah, because you know, in the walking and especially walking across the bridge, yeah. I need to have I need to be able to put my keys in something, my mm -hmm. phone in something, and then maybe a little bottle of water, maybe. Right, right. And I found a little free pattern. I can't put my finger on it right now. Okay, to, but you uh, send it to me, I'll link to it. To follow. Yeah, so a little fanny pack. I had looked at this one. This is a This was one I had looked at, but it has zippers and it had too many zippers. Oh man. Well, and I don't have to do all the zippers, but mm -hmm. I think the one that I chose is simpler. And the shape, this one's like a um, rectangle shape. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Uh-huh. But the one I'm doing is, is more like an oval. Okay. So I may tackle that. Cool, that would be awesome. This week. But yeah, that that's fun. all I have for dream making. Okay, the only other thing I have for dream making, I wanna make the getaway shawl by Shay Johnson. She's the designer of the As If Team and also that sweater you've been wanting to make. Um, yes, yes, yes. Studio 54. Studio 54, yeah, let me show you what the getaway shawl looks like. Uh, let's see. Here it is. Does that have tap? Yes, I like that too. Yeah, so it's gar primarily garden stitch separated by some lace, a really simple lace pattern. But again, just a really easy, meditative, lots and lots of garden stitch, which I love. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna, I am already got my yarn wound up. You do? I do, I really wanna, I want. I wanna what are you gonna it. use? I'm gonna use um, dragonfly fibers. They're sport weight. Uh-huh. A damsel, I believe, is their sport weight. Do you know what this color is? Um, something. Um, no. Isn't it pretty though? I do know it. Um, I know you do. <laughs> but it's not coming to me. Firecracker. <laughs> yes. Mm hmm. I still yeah. got it. Isn't that a pretty cake? And that's on the that's on a screen. I'm able to still recognize. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's pretty firecracker. Put it like in a skein. Oh wow, that's really mm -hmm. pretty. Aren't they pretty? This was picked up at a homespun yarn party, maybe about three years ago. Yep. So I think this would be perfect, and it calls for a sport weight yarn, which is great. And I've already picked up my project bag. Remember this? We picked this up. Yes. From the, um, Maryland Alpaca and Fleece Festival mm -hmm. last year. Yes. Yeah. This is from Allegheny. Allegheny Fiber Arts. Yep, so fell in love with that. She was nice. We had a nice talk with her. Yeah, that was fun. Mm-hmm. We're not that's the only thing that's on my radar immediately. Well, I'll take that back. So <laughs> I knew it was something. I really like um, Tracy's new design of the Grocery Girls, her shawl. Oh, yeah. What's the name? Mm. Did I save it? I was thinking about doing that. Excuse me, I'm spitting out grapefruit scenes. Um, hmm. I can't think of the name of it though. I can't either. Why? Mm -hmm. 
I didn't save it already. I'll find it. Oh, look at this. I know. There's always something. Are you looking at Sonder? I'm looking at, oh, wow. Amy Christopher. She has a new pattern. Shawl really? pattern. Yes. It's called If Sun If If Sun Comes. Oh, that is pretty. Show that. That is oh my gosh. This wow. is so pretty. Look at that. And it's DK weight. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it is. Oh, that's so pretty. So you need look. Two skeins. Two and one. Wow. Two, two and one? Mm-hmm. Like two, so the, two. The top color, two skeins, and one skein of the bottom color. Man, that's pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Is that like some mosaic knitting on the bottom, maybe? Yeah. Oh, wow. That is really pretty. And it's garters. Oh, I love it. Oh. It's free. Is it free now? No. What? You can download this pattern for free with the coupon code 15% pledge. Um let me see if it works. Oh, that's so sweet of her. It is free. Wow. He says it's free with the coupon code. Mm -hmm. And then hope, I hope that you will use the small savings to support a black or by POC owned business, whether that is a purchase of yarn um, or a yarn company, a, mm -hmm. a local yarn shop. Oh, wow. Okay, so I downloaded it and I bought from at Haynes House this week. So does that count? Although I've got a lot of makers on my oh my goodness. I'm keeping a list of so many people I want <laughs> so many new talented makers that have been introduced to me over the past few weeks. Right. So um Crochet Cove, have you did you are you following her now on Instagram? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have yarn of hers that really I need to knit up. So she's been doing this for a while then. Um and I'm just discovering her. She's just a she's is she two years old or a year oh, old? Okay. Yeah, she hasn't been dying that y'all that okay. long. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well that's exciting. Very exciting. Let me make sure I put this in the right container. So, any other dream making? No, I'm going to stick with that. Get something yeah. off the needle. That sounds good. That sounds good. So, we will wrap it up with a little bit of what we've been up to. Yes. What have we been up to? Um, we've I've been, been up working, to working, 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 working. Um, trying to stay healthy, keeping on my healthy eating plan. I haven't got a lot of exercise in this week, but I think I'm going to take a walk after we finish podcasting today and hope to make it to a park tomorrow. Today is Friday. Today is Friday, June 12th. I always forget to see the date. <laughs> um, so yeah, pretty. that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. So I want to hear about how you embraced your arms this week. Okay, so it really, it was really confirmed during our um, virtual meeting this morning. And I was just, I, I sat out, I had my breakfast outside on the mm -hmm. deck and then came in because it, was it warm? I was afraid my computer was going to get to overheat or something. Okay. okay. So I came in and I don't know, it was something, I can't even remember what it was that one of the um, 
the Weight Watchers um, um, participants say it. And I was like, I guess part of it was, you know, with me making, I really like the dress number one and it's mm-hmm. sleeveless. And I kept saying, oh, I'm going to make, sh- I'm going to make sleeves. I'm going to make sleeves. Mm-hmm. But it's like, it's warm now. I should be able to just wear my dress number one and not worry about covering up my, my arms. Right, right. I have been saying, and it was, I had that thought, I guess, during breakfast this morning, because, you know, I, mm-hmm. I was going to start, um, sewing this morning, I was like, okay, I can make the Lottie, the Lottie will have, you know, sleeves, the dress number one, you can just really, you know, just knock that out so quick, and it's mm-hmm, something, so it's mm-hmm. like, well, make the dang one dress number one, make exactly. the number one, that's what you love, that's exactly. your uniform, you know, this arm thing, you just got to get over it, and then during the, the, um, the Weight Watchers, meeting I don't, I don't even know who said something or what yeah. exactly was said but something was like just except I guess they were I don't even I can't I'm sorry I wish I could remember but I couldn't mm. and then something just said to I said to myself self just just embrace your arms just mm-hmm. they'll come down you you're working on you know I feel I guess I feel it's amazing just what Weight Watchers has done just for me in the last two weeks. Yeah. I mean, just two weeks. Yeah. I feel so like this is what I'm supposed to do. This is, you know, I now have, I'm now equipped to know what to eat, how to eat. Those cravings or the mm-hmm. stuff I was, I was eating before, I, I don't even miss it right yeah I don't even miss it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know trying new new recipes I guess all the 100 the zero points it's like I can live off of those I had exactly. I, had, I had points <laughs> left over yesterday wow yeah and the getting out and walking so what is really in keeping me going with the with um the walking is you get fit points for walking that's yep. more food that you can mm-hmm. eat right <laughs> So I set up, you know, my goal, you know, because of course, you know, we try to get the 10,000 steps Mm -hmm. a day. I may not get that every day, but if I, if I do like an average for the week, it's just as good. So, um, I averaged, I, I'll see how this works, but, um, I set it up to, um, do 36, fit points a week okay and my sunday walk across the bridge that's 12 fit points that's a lot of points a lot of walking that's a lot that's a lot Mm -hmm. of walking Mm -hmm. and i mean that's you know um my main walking is you know that jump starts the week and then so i'm walking every other day and that's the other thing it's like because i'm still trying to overcome this knee tenderness trying to figure mm-hmm. out how to you know what I need to get to support that I've gotten mm-hmm. a couple of sleeves I sent them back so I'm now um have you seen the runners sometimes they'll have this band around yeah the bot just below their knee mm-hmm. they call it jump they wear them because it's called jumper's knee okay. and I'm kind of thinking that's how my knee feels if the whole knee doesn't feel weak it's just like under the knee so I okay. I bought per, um I had sent back a couple of the sleeves that I had compression sleeves. I sent those back because they're not going to work. So I'm trying this jumper, uh, knee jumper. Mm-hmm. It's like a, a band, a Velcro thing. So I'm trying that. But yeah, so I'm just, I'm over, I'm over. And I'm going to tell you, I've had this, this, um, this arm thing has been a part of me for a very long time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna I'm just over it yeah I'm, you do. I'm, over, I'm over the knee thing I mean I mean the the arm thing because I mean it's okay it is okay it is okay but I'm really excited about Weight Watch. I'm really excited about Weight Watchers and not so much focused on I mean of course the you know 
it's it's the losing weight, but it's it's more feeling healthy. Mm-hmm. You know, you feel better. Yeah. In just in just two weeks. The, the change in the, the energy level, the clarity, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And for me, the best thing has been sleep. You sleep And it's, it's even, it's really, really good when I walk in the evening and then I come in and take a shower and eat a, like a little light snack. Yep. And I'm like, like a, <laughs> out, like a baby. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Yes. Yeah, I just got to be determined to stick with it. Yeah, but I know what you mean about those body issues. I was, I'm going to share this cute little picture I saw on Instagram this week. (laughs) This is going to be me on a beach this summer. (laughs) (laughs) Look at those legs. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Is she adorable or what? She's happy. And she's beautiful. So I told Brad, I said, this is going to be me on the beach. I'm going I'm to grease up my legs. <laughs> and I just going to let it all hang out. <laughs> so, yeah. That, that really put a smile on my face <laughs> this week. <laughs> so, um, some of you were um, posted a really, how do I put this? Um, she was talking about the podcast and the make along and what it has meant to her. So I thought that when she once she finds it, she's gonna she's gonna oh read it. Oh my gosh! It. Yes. You know, so we you know we came up with this idea. We thought it would be a good idea to help you know lift everyone's spirits and keep everyone occupied and focused on something besides all the the sadness and the bad news. But we had a a, a viewer to really put meaning behind the words confidence and hope or at least what it means to her what it means to her yes because yeah we know hope hope does not disappoint and she she yeah is let me let me get to it real quick that was that last week 34 um it was 34 i think it was post 14 questions um, hold on. It's post 14 in episode 35, discussion and questions. Oh, 35. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So her name, her rivalry name is Wooly Tea Time. Candace. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Candace lives in Ontario, Canada. Yeah. So she says, um, I really appreciated the wellness talk in the podcast episode. I actually got up early this morning and did 10 minutes of yoga because you inspired me. She says, at one point a while back, Arthella had said confidence through hope. And I've been thinking a lot about what it means ever since. I didn't get its meaning at first, maybe because I was too stressed when all of this unfolded back in March. So much has happened these last few months in the world and in our family, and at times it has felt like a tidal wave of stress and anxiety. That phrase has kept coming back to me, and these past few days, it has hit home. Here's a list of some of what its meaning has come to be for me. Hope that things will work out, confidence to trust the flow of life rather than live in worry, hope that I'll be able to handle it, confidence to live in the moment knowing that I will be able to take action when necessary, hope that I am not alone in trying to handle whatever comes my way, confidence to step forward knowing that I have loved ones who have my back, Hope that I can handle negative outcomes when I speak up for myself and others. Confidence to be authentic and speak out when I need to. There is so much that could be added to this list. Thank you for sharing this mantra, Arthella and Trish. Oh, 
I Thank know. you, Candace. Thank you, Candace. That was absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Candace. And it's true. That's what it's all about. Yep. Confidence and hope. Confidence, Confidence and, and hope. hope. Yep. <sighs> right. <laughs> that is. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So we'll end on that very happy and positive note. And yes. with a wish that you all are staying healthy and, and well. And um, I guess it'll be more of the same next week. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still <laughs> sheltering in place. You're except still getting out to a park every now and home. then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still working from home, um, which is a real blessing. Very yeah. thankful for that. Yep. So. Well, me too. I'm going to just be over here making all the things. Making all the things. Yes. And, and we're focusing on making. I think somebody made the comment too that when everything started going down, like in March, I know I was feeling completely overwhelmed. And one part of my mind was saying, oh, I have all this time. I can't go anywhere. So I'm going to make all the things. But I was so stressed out by everything going on, I really couldn't focus. But now I feel like I'm getting into a flow where, mm -hmm. you know, like Candace said, it's going to be okay. I'm okay. At this moment, I'm okay. So let's just yeah. go with that and take one day, one hour, one minute at a time and just deal with things as they come. And that's really, really helping a lot. Yes, you can only deal with today mm -hmm. tomorrow yeah. is not promised yes you you have some hopes and steps you'd like to take but mm -hmm. less it, and it, it's taken i think it's taken you know it's it takes time to get used to something different yeah definitely you first have to you know, accept it and yeah, know that there are, you know, that you can do different. Mm -hmm. You can do yeah. something different. You can change, you know, con control the things that you can, you can change. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All righty then. All righty then. So we'll, we'll be back next week. Um, Ooh, good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. We'll be back here next Friday sharing some more makes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and um, until then, stay safe and well. Keep making all the things. Keep posting in the rivalry group. You want to hear all about the things you're doing. Don't all forget about the things. To, um, to enter to win the prize of the week. Um, don't forget to um, comment, like, and subscribe on YouTube. And we'll see you next week. Yes. Okay. okay. Happy making. Bye. Happy making. Okay. Am I going to be able to get up? <laughs> Sit down so long. I know. Oh, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> okay. I don't want to lose this recording. Stop. <laughs>